looks like we've got just about everyone. How are we doing? Internal security remains solid. I've caught three Imperial spies since Osus. Two attempted to enlist, and the other presented herself as a merchant seeking new trade relations. Unfortunately, they fled before they could be caught and interrogated about their specific objectives. It's good to know we're still so popular. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. My assets have brought in solid intel from all of the major battles along the front lines. I'll keep forwarding everything to Baywan for analysis. My people are using that intel to create new write-ups for the major field commanders on both sides. Should help us predict strategic probabilities going forward. Until we get a specific request for aid, I've deployed our fleet in a defensive posture around Odessan. Speaking of ships, one of our frigates went AWOL. The crew is ex-Imperial, so we're pretty sure they're heading back home. I can't blame them for not sticking around to fight their old allies, but that ship wasn't theirs to take. How should I deal with them? Track them down, but stick with your eye on cannons. I only want the ship back. The crew members are free to go where they like. Understood. Once our people have retaken the frigate, they'll drop the crew off at the closest neutral port. Nothing so dramatic occurring in our science lab. Improvements to Odessa's planetary shields have been successfully completed. All right. Hilo? We've had to step up security for my crews. Piracy is becoming a bigger problem on their runs. Lucky for us, you're friends with Mandalore. Now that word spread that her people are riding along, nobody messes with our transports. Good to hear. Anything else? Me and the crew have been running one of the old Thranta Corvettes. We're patrolling the route between here and Sakul. It's bad over there. Some of the city spires have closed themselves off completely. Others are actually taking shots at each other. And those gangsters from the Exchange? They're moving in all over the place. Nearly half the provisional government is tied to them somehow. I know they want to go their own way. But Sakul is my home. It's home for a lot of our people. I think we should try to help. How do you think we can help them? The most important thing is to get the Exchange out of there. The Knights are practically non-existent now. There's no law. I know it's not our place to go after them on Sakul. So let's go after them before they get there. Give me three extra ships, and we'll intercept any Exchange members we find headed for Sakul. Without any muscle or bribes to back them up, they'll crumble. Sounds like a good plan. The ships are yours, Koth. Thank you. I enjoy taking those scumbags down. San Array is touring the reconstruction efforts on Vos, so I believe we're finished. That's all I have. Good work, everyone. There was one final matter for you. We received a message from Alec Raynan, a reporter for a Republic news network. He'd like to speak when you have a moment. I've loaded his frequency into your holocom. Thought we could use a moment alone. I have to say, it feels good to work with the Republic again. We spent so many years dealing with Suresh and people like her. It's easy to lose faith. To forget what we all signed up for in the first place. The Republic might finally be ready to live up to its own standards. I'm glad to be a part of it. The Republic has always been my home. It feels good to be back after so long. Plus, Coruscant has way better restaurants than Droman Koss. I'm glad we could talk. I'll catch you later. Commander, what a pleasure. Alec Rain, Republic News Network. Your little comeback is everybody talking. Would you uh, like to join the conversation? What do you have in mind, exactly? Oh, nothing too formal. You, me, and a friendly conversation about the Alliance and the Republic. I think it would boost morale for people to hear about how you're going to win this nasty old war for us. How about it? Count me in. Where should we meet? We film in a studio on Carrick Station. Meet me there when you're ready. Uh, Commander, welcome. Follow me and we'll get started. Our studio is just this way. Live in three, two... Welcome back to Republic News. I'm your host, Alec Raynan. Our guest tonight has led a rather illustrious career as an esteemed member of the Jedi Order. But nowadays, you're simply known as the Commander, leader of the alliance that overthrew the Zakulian Empire, a hero to the entire galaxy. How does it feel to return to the Republic? It feels great, Alec. 
I'm excited to move forward and bring the Alliance closer to the Republic. Glad to hear it. Some people in your position might have felt uh, abandoned given the Republic's treaty with Sakul precluded any official support for the Alliance. And despite those difficult circumstances, you remained loyal. You supported the Republic's efforts on Iocath, for example. Why is that? The Sith had helped us. But they can't be trusted long term. Siding with the Republic was the obvious choice. Understandable. At the request of Republic personnel, you defended the Jedi colony on Osis when it came under Imperial attack. It was during that attack that we learned of the survival of Darth Malgus, possibly the Empire's most feared battle commander. How did his reappearance make you feel? Malgus is dangerous, but we've beaten him before. We can do it again. Your confidence is reassuring. I'm afraid we're just about out of time, so let's get to the heart of things. The war against the Sith Empire. Can we win? With the Alliance joining forces with the Republic, the Empire doesn't stand a chance. I like the sound of that. Any final comments before we wrap up? The Republic is a place where all the peoples of the galaxy come together to create something greater than ourselves. If we're going to win, we'll do it by working together to bring out the best in everyone. Inspiring words indeed. Thank you so much to our special guest. I'm Alec Rainin. Good night, and stay strong. Transmission complete. Great show. We'll have to bring you back again soon. Great work, Commander. You looked good. And you sounded even better. Wonder Overlord, scanning for hostiles now. I'm detecting some strange interference. Republic fighters, evade! Great shooting, people. Scratch one destroyer. Looks like the captain of the destroyer is making a run for it. Shooting, let's regroup. Commander! General Nehru, what can I do for you? I'm glad I caught you. Darth Malgus is assembling one of the largest attack fleets in history. We need your help. What else do we know? Do we have the fleet's objective? We should discuss that in person. We're in the operations center on Carrick Station. Please hurry, Commander. They ruin out.
More than 100 capital ships, with smaller picket ships and support vessels close by. And that's not all. There's enough fuel transports for all those warships to cross half the galaxy. Darth Malgus is leaving nothing to chance. His fleet won't stop until they reach the objective. Which is? Corellia. It's a pleasure to see you again, Master. I never had the chance to properly thank you for your help on Ursus. Many people owe you their lives. The fleet's target is the Meridian Complex, a state-of-the-art shipyard that's due to begin production in a matter of weeks. The Meridian Complex can produce new warships at triple the speed of any existing shipyard, and at half the energy cost. Once that shipyard becomes operational, it could give the Republic a significant advantage in a matter of months. That's why they're committing so many ships to this mission. The Sith Empire will stop at nothing to destroy this new shipyard before it can save the Republic's war effort. How long can the shipyard's defenses hold out against a fleet that size? A matter of hours, at best. That's where you come in. It's crucial that we redeploy the Republic fleet to defend the Meridian Complex immediately. Unlike Malgus, we can't move our ships to Corellia without refueling stops. We expect the Empire's top agents to target our reinforcements anywhere they stop. They won't risk our forces arriving in time to make a difference. We want you to defend and expedite those reinforcements as best you can. If we defeat the Empire at Corellia, we turn the tide of this war in our favor. That's my part. What will you two be doing? Once we've organized the ships moving to defend Corellia, I will take charge of the ground defenses based in Coronet City. I'm leaving shortly to meet with the Green Jedi. I'll help coordinate their defense efforts with our own. Your first objective will be the planet Onderon. The 11th Fleet is gathering there to resupply and refuel before heading to Corellia. It's the only Republic port within range of their current position. Onderon has been a Republic world for centuries, but local politics have become strained and fractious. Tawadere is already investigating. She suspects Imperial infiltration. Whatever is happening on Onderon, we'll get to the bottom of it. We're very fortunate to have your help. General, word from the 87th. I'll leave you to it, Commander. Good luck. Speaking of Tau, I have one more favor to ask of you, Commander. Arn, if you please. Commander, been looking forward to meeting you. I'm Arn Peralin. Jedi Padawan. But there aren't many cyborgs among the Jedi. I hadn't noticed. Tao had to leave for Onderon before I could introduce her new Padawan. Since you're heading there anyway, I thought Arn might ride along with you. The commander is one of us, Arn. Heed him well. May the Force be with you both. Artillery fire. On Dacot 7. What? How'd it happen? How'd you get injured? Yeah, that's everyone's first question. My master and I were escorting refugees. He died. I survived. More or less. Dacot 7 has advanced technology, but the locals can't use Colto or Bacta. Genetically incompatible, they said. So they use cybernetics to treat all their severe injuries. The recovery took years. I don't know if I can still become the Jedi I hoped to be, but I'm not giving up now. The Force is strong with you, Arn. I can feel it. I'm sure you'll become a great Jedi. Thanks. It feels good to return to the Jedi path after so long. Hey, before we go, my new master, Tao, what can you tell me about her? Tao has all the best qualities we aim to uphold. She's courageous, dutiful, determined. She'll teach you well. Master Nostarol thinks very highly of her. Glad to hear you share his opinion. Thanks. I'm ready when you are. Lana, I'm heading for Onderon. Gather up anyone that's free and meet me there. Understood. We'll set out immediately. What do you know about Onderon, Arn? Well, we just landed in the heart of the capital. Not that there are any other major cities. The planet is mostly wilderness. The wildlife is famously dangerous. 
The plant life is hardy enough to seed barren planets and spark new ecosystems. So that definitely makes Onderon an important resource world. Uh, what else? Um, ah, the planet is ruled by a king named Petrif, who's been on the throne for just over three years. Impressive. Somebody did their homework. Oh, I, <laughs> I can't take the credit. Master Nostaral gave me the full lecture back at Carrick. You know how much he loves history. Let's find Lana and hear what she's learned about the Imperials' plans. Lana... Lana Benico, right? The... Sith Lord that works for you? Lana isn't like most Sith. You've got nothing to worry about. I have to be honest, I've, uh... I've never talked with a Sith before, you know? So... After you? Commander, welcome to Onderon. This must be your new friend, Arn Paralan. Jedi Padawan. Hmm. Uh, nice to meet you. Why don't you tell us what you've learned so far? Of course. Onderon is a powder keg. King Petrith has been at odds with his noble council for months. From what Theron and I have learned, he wants to strip mine the planet to line his coffers. The nobles aren't interested in that plan. As a result, Petrif has changed residence to his hunting lodge in the wilderness, where the nobles can't keep track of his activities or visitors. The nobles are led by Senator Nebet, the planet's Republic representative. She was kind enough to lend us her office. Nebet's people have detected coded transmissions from the hunting lodge. The code used is highly sophisticated, and not Onderonian. An Imperial code? Nebet suspects as much. I have Dr. Ogorov analyzing it to confirm, but in the meantime, the Senator is preparing the city for a potential attack. To that end, our people are spread across the capital, shoring up the city's defenses. I believe you'll find Tower Dare in the central marketplace. Good work, Lana. I'll take Arn to meet with Tao. Can you arrange an audience with Senator Nebet? Certainly. I'll contact you once I have the details. All right, Arn. Ready to meet your new master? Ready as I'll ever be. It was nice to meet you, Lord. Lady, uh... <sighs> Just Lana will do. Commander, it's good to see you again. You must be Arn. Uh, yes, Arn Perallin. I, uh, look forward to learning from you. Great. Well, uh, let's get started. Sounds good. Uh, so... Where should we start? I have no idea. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> um... Why don't you walk Arn through what you're doing out here? Right, of course. I, I checked in with the guard station up the street, and, and now I'm gonna check the walls for... We're under attack! Everyone all right? You two get to the palace. Coordinate with Lana. Right away. Arn, are you ready? Arn! I'm ready. You're heading for the explosions? I'll let you know what I see. Stay in contact. You got it. Let's move. not. Some of them are wearing Onderonian uniforms, but the rest, no clue. They're definitely headed for the palace, Commander. We'll slow them down as best we can. Commander, you look different somehow. And you arrived even earlier than my most ambitious estimates. I think I'd remember meeting a... you before. We'll have an opportunity to get reacquainted later. In person. I'll see to it. The firing sequence is already locked in. My calculations leave no room for error or intervention. You may defeat my remote droids, but not before the orbital defense cannons obliterate the Republic fleet. All units, begin combat recording protocol Orek. Let's see what you're truly capable of. Intro. 
Public fleet, raise your shields. Imperial forces set the planet's defensive guns to fire on you. I'm disabling them now, but they may have other tricks up their sleeves. Understood. Shields up! We'll pull the fleet to a safe distance and maintain alert status. Tau? This whole attack was a diversion. The Imperials tried to use the defensive cannons to attack our fleet, but I managed to stop them. That's great to hear, but I'm not sure anyone told these guys they're just a diversion. Think you could give us a hand in the throne room? On my way. He was a Koru, leader of the Untamed. They followed the old ways of the Beast Riders, or at least, their version of the old ways. Commander, I am Senator Nabet. I thank you for your heroism and your timeliness. The deadliest of the attackers were his followers. They're violent isolationists that want all off-world influences killed or driven away. The rest are the King's own soldiers, led to their deaths by Petrif himself. And some kind of droids I don't recognize. The droids are Imperial, remote piloted. I fought more of them in the control room for the orbital cannons. They actually spoke to me. The woman controlling them claimed to know me, but I didn't learn any more than that. The coded messages. The Empire must have convinced Petrif that we were plotting against him. Before he retreated, he kept ranting about reclaiming his throne. Though how the Empire could have gotten the Untamed to fight alongside the King is beyond me. Let's see to our wounded, and determine the extent of the damage. Then we can reconvene to discuss strategy. The death toll is still being calculated. At the very least, hundreds of guards and civilians have died. Damage to the city itself was minimal. They attack so quickly that we hardly engage them before they reach the palace. Our ships in orbit got through without a scratch thanks to the commander. They should finish refueling within the hour. Then your mission here is over? I wish we could stay to help, but with the Imperials heading for Corellia... We should stay. We have to stay. It's on your mind, Arn. The droids that attacked us were being controlled remotely, and you said they spoke with a woman's voice. Darth Savick is the new Dark Council member in charge of scientific research. I read about her in Nostaral's files. She uses droids in all of her missions. And I had a look at their internals. The signal range isn't far. That means Savik is on this planet as we speak. A Dark Council member could tell us a lot about the Empire's plans. If we can find Savik, she'll know which of our other fleets they're targeting. Good thinking. So how do we find her? We can start with King Petrif. If the Sith are manipulating him, they won't be far. He was last seen heading toward his Royal Hunting Lodge. If you're crossing the Onderan Wilds, you'll need guidance. Fortunately, I found just the help you need. Jakaro, C2D4. It will be our great pleasure to guide you across our beloved Underon. What have you been doing all these years? We have served moron after moron, fool after fool, but now fortune turns in our favor at last. We'll leave you to that. It's best if Arn and I stick around to hold the line here, in case the imps make another attack. But don't hesitate to call if you need backup. I assure you, Master Jedi, they're in the best of hands. No, oh, hands. <laughs> of course, to the Royal Hunting Lodge! world still has great value to the Empire. Think of the resources. Think of the strategic position. Worthy objectives for another day. Our focus is Corellia. The Emperor has made that clear. Evacuate your remaining forces and go to rendezvous point one. And Savik, the next time I call, you will answer in person. Uh, the, the nobles! Nabet! They'll have me imprisoned! You promised support! You can't leave me! 
Go with my droids, King Petrith. They will keep you safe. Onderon will bow to you again soon enough. You again. You continue to best even my most aggressive estimates. Quite rude. Leaving so soon. I was looking forward to catching up after all this time. Don't pretend. You don't remember me at all, I'm sure. This is a neutron emitter. Once fully charged, it will emit a wave of energy fatal to all organic life within range. The range is just enough to engulf the whole building, and the effect lasts for hours. Once you're dead, my droids will have plenty of time to fortify the building against further incursions. Should we be running away? You can try. What you're capable of now. What's the fastest way out of here? The balcony, obviously. If only someone had been brilliant enough to order that remote piloting system for our ship. And to start flying it here at the first sign of trouble. What genius could have accomplished it? We'll never hear the end of this, will we? How about the guards in the East Corridor? Yes. I, I feel two of them. They're nervous, but it's a general concern. Nothing threatening. Dead on. The North Corridor? Hmm. Uh, three. But they aren't guards. They feel... different. Kitchen staff, I think. Right again. But can you sense the Commander's Sith friend down in the armory? Uh, no. I can sense the guards there, but... Uh, no one else. Uh, can't even sense a Sith Lord. Not much good, am I? I don't sense her either. But that's because she's actually out checking on the main gate. Your friends will make mistakes. Your enemies will lie. Your senses can be deceived. But you can always trust what the Force tells you. Seems like your training is going well. Thanks. It's all coming back to me, but... There's still so much to learn. Thank you for your patience. The nobles would rather debate who was most wronged by the King's treason than decide on a course of action. We were right about Darth Savick and King Petrus. The Sith manipulated him into attacking. But they both managed to escape. Any hints about where they might go next? Darth Malgus ordered Savik to leave Onderon, but nothing beyond that. I think it's time to pay a visit to the other attackers. The Untamed, to fight for the Sith. The Untamed must have been manipulated even more effectively than the King. I'm sure they're all the more frustrated for it. They know the Wilderness better than our finest scouts. They have both the motive and means to help you find Savik. Alright, how do I find them? They'll be in mourning now. I made sure their dead warriors were returned to them, to comply with the traditions they hold above all else. Light the appropriate beacons as you approach their hideout, and they will treat you with something like respect. 
If Senator Nebet agrees, we'll gather volunteers from the city guard. As soon as you find Savik's location, we'll be ready to launch a coordinated attack. Of course. Onderon will see justice done. Good luck, Commander. Koru, we honor the fallen. Offworlder, you observe our rites and customs. You show the respect due to the true masters of this world. You may speak your purpose here. Just be quick about it. I'm looking for Darth Savick. Do you know where she is? One Offworlder seeking another. Why should we be involved? Savick betrayed you. If you tell me where she is, she'll face justice. If you don't, you'll be helping her escape. Justice would be feeding her to Okoro's beasts, alongside Nebet, Petrif, and all others who spoil our world with the influence of outsiders like you. For now, we must lick our wounds and regain our strength. Kill Savik, take her prisoner. So long as there are less of your kind here, we will celebrate the ancient proving grounds. Your city dwellers will know where it is. Savik thought she could hide a ship there from other ignorant offworlders, perhaps, but not from us. You will find her there, Petrif too. Now go. We will never suffer your presence here again. The shuttles were pretty well hidden, but we've got a full sensor lock. Now that we know where to look, they won't leave without us knowing. Volunteers from the city guard are ready and speeders are prepped. We can be there in minutes. Tao, Arn, you'll take the volunteers and attack from the far side. Make a lot of noise. Draw Savik's attention. I'll go on foot and catch Savik off guard. Yo, oh, this is Malrev 4 all over again. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. The Proving Grounds are ancient and dangerous, even without Imperial patrols. Be cautious. If you manage to find Petrif, please bring him back. The sooner he faces justice for betraying his people, the better. An exiled king can tell his own version of the story, rally supporters, and cause endless trouble. A man in prison is a memory that quickly fades. If Petrif goes to prison, who takes the throne of Onderon? That will be a discussion for the Noble Council. His closest relatives are his cousins, but they aren't suited to kingship. Sensors are picking up energy blooms. Might be the shuttles powering up. Better move out. Everyone look out for each other. Stay in contact. We're almost done. May the Force be with us. Not so far. The diversion was impressive, but I know your moves too well to be fooled by a mere imitation. You're not going to escape, Savik. Just surrender. Ah, oh, Melora would have enjoyed this. The insect, threatening the spider from within its web, she'd say. I sometimes miss her particular insanity. You're clear for launch, Petrith. The sensor jammers will activate when you exit orbit. You'll be all but impossible to track. Await my return, dear Onderon. You shall know the splendor of my rule once again. Let's ensure a bit of privacy while we're at it. Shuttle 2. Commence aerial assault on hostiles in Zone 5. Now then. I've prepared for this day for so long. Where to even begin? You struck me down in my prime, then moved on without a second thought. Corellia would have been my tomb had my droids not found me. In truth, I should thank you. 
You made me what I am. Taught me the best way to move forward. I haven't risked direct combat in a decade. I send my droids or manipulate fools like Petrif to fight for me. But now, at last, the Force has reunited us. I've spent years studying you, crafting the ideal response to your every tactic. Shall we test what I've learned? I regret harming you. If I had any other choice now, I'd take it. You have another choice now. Take it. Revenge can't heal. It can only destroy. Then let it destroy you! to make me stronger all of my rage all of these years it still wasn't enough I've studied trained risen to the Dark Council what does it take to beat you how can you be so powerful I'm strong because I fight for others the force is a part of all living things how could anyone hope to master it when they only focus on themselves please it's clear that I'll never beat you. I... I, I don't... I, I don't think I even want to anymore. I just want to understand. I can't return to the Sith now. Not after this. They cannot help me become more than I am. Only you can. Hey there. Sounds like we won. Everyone all right? Some of the city guards were hit by the airstrikes, but... We're pretty sure they'll make it. Looks like you have one prisoner. Was Petrif in the other shuttle that launched? Yes. He left as soon as I got here. I can help you. You can easily track him down with his sensor jammer's algorithm. I'll give you the algorithm. Whatever you want. Yeah? How about the other fleets the Empire is targeting? Where will your friend strike next? Mech Shah. It's an old mining outpost that was converted to a fueling station. I don't have the details, but that's our, uh, Malgus's next target. Really? Just like that? <laughs> Let's get back to the palace. We can sort all of this out there. Sounds good to me. Then Savik's cooperation is sincere? She's actually told you the Empire's plan? Seems that way. I check with General Dayrune and we have a fleet headed to Mechshaw for refueling. The pieces fit. Arn and I will head there right away to meet with the fleet's commander, see if we can start rooting out the imps. If we can stop them on Mechshaw like we did here, we might just stand a chance of defending Corellia. Have any of the Republic's other reinforcements come under attack? Not yet, but we have all ships on alert. Let's hope they don't try anything else as elaborate as they did here. See you on Mechshaw. Senator, thanks for everything. Safe travels. We've got Savik on an Alliance shuttle ready to move out. She says she wants to stay with us. With you, maybe. Of course, the Republic prefers that we transfer her to their control. How would you like to proceed? Take Savik to Odessa. She could become a real asset to the Alliance. Right away. <laughs> Please don't make us find some other idiot to work for. Uh, that is, we'd much rather work for you. We'll be glad to have you. Lana can set you up with quarters back on Odessa. <coughs> oh, that's just ridiculous. <coughs> we have your ship fueled and ready whenever you wish to depart. Using Savik's information, we've sent troops to follow King Petrif. We expect to have him back in a matter of days. His trial will be interesting, of course, but I'm more concerned with what will come after. If the nobles can agree, the question of leadership could turn violent. The nobles will have you to guide them. I'll make a smart choice. Thank you. I can only hope you're right. Good luck on Mechshaw, Commander, and on Corellia.
Commander, this is Vice Admiral Narlock, commanding the Republic 29th Fleet. Welcome to Mekshaw. Thank you. Should I join you aboard your ship? Negative. It's best that we meet on the station. I have a local contact who's helping me arrange refueling for our ships. Your Jedi friends are already here. Send me coordinates now. Narlock out. Jot, an old friend of mine. He served 30 years in the Republic Navy, and now he's Mekshaw's chief engineer. Call me Junker. Everyone does. And chief engineer is a bit fancier than we like around here. Me and my crew just keep things running. Lights, water, atmosphere. Mekshaw's neutral officially, but me and mine will back the Republic to the end. Whatever you need, we'll help you get. 30 years in the service, that's quite a career. You must have seen a lot. Mostly access hatches and fuel lines. Engies don't get pretty views like officers, but I've had an exciting moment or two. Junker's been working to get us the fuel we need, but it isn't as easy as I'd hoped. Like I said, Mekshaw's neutral, so your ships don't get topped off until the powers that be vote on it. See, Mekshaw used to be run by the Huts. The locals kicked them out while they were distracted with Makeb, then started running things themselves. So all the big decisions come down to a vote by the leaders of the five biggest crews. Lucky for you, I'm one of them. Hutbreaker, she led the revolt. So now she runs the docks. She'll vote for you. Fuel sales go straight into her pocket. So you just need one more vote. Unfortunately, I'm no diplomat. <laughs> and sorry, Junker, but neither are you. So, you need us to get the last vote stop whatever the Empire has planned. What else did Darth Savick tell us? We're dealing with Darth Shar. She's the Dark Counselor in charge of Imperial Logistics, which doesn't sound very scary. Maybe, but you don't make the Dark Council just by getting supplies delivered on time. Never underestimate a Sith. If you're looking for Sith, they'll be with the Brothers. Bunch of creepy slavers down on the lower levels. Empire is their biggest customer. We can bet they'll show up in force as soon as the fleet starts refueling. We'd better plan out our defenses ahead of time. Could Arn and I scout out the docks a bit? I'd like to see what we're dealing with. Of course. I'll take you myself. We'll catch up with you later, Commander. All right, just us now. No need to put on airs. I know what you're thinking. Because I think it too. You've got a whole big fleet out there and a tiny rock full of lowlifes here. Why not just roll in and take what you need? A place like this doesn't stay independent if they don't have some impressive security. You're just as sharp as you look. Hutbreaker has a failsafe rigged up. Push a button, it fires a pulse that makes all the fuel on the station inert. Takes weeks to make the fuel useful again. Not the way you want to go, trust me. I got a much easier route for you. Hutbreaker's hosting an auction at her stronghold on the other side of the station. All the crew leaders will be there, and I can get you in. It's your best chance to start winning that last vote. What is Hutbreaker auctioning off? Couldn't even begin to tell you. All sorts of crazy stuff passes through Mechshaw. Crossroads of the galaxy. Now, let me just get a few things sorted and we'll get you on your way. One up! Saber. Sith trying to take you out already? In the middle of my turf? I don't know. He felt strange in the Force. 
shrouded somehow. Besides, why wear a mask when his lightsaber is so obvious? It doesn't make sense. Don't ask me why Sith do what they do. I always figured the ones who wear the mask just don't feel scary enough without them. Speeders that way. I'll meet you at Hutbreaker's place in a bit. Gonna put more droids on perimeter security. Blasted Sith think they can just strut right in here! Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'm not here to con anyone. The Republic will give them a fair deal for the fuel. Settling for fair isn't what got these people to the top on Mech Shah. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker, revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. What about the brothers? Jot mentioned they worked for the Empire. Yeah, they're slavers, all part of some weird religious cult. The Empire buys most of their stock. A lot of the refugees who come through here end up in the Brothers' pens, and Hutbreaker isn't above throwing troublemakers their way, too. Needless to say, you won't be getting their vote for anything that helps the Republic. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Wald. One of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo. Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like... Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Is there anything else I should know? We'll keep our eyes open for any other big players, but I'm sure you can handle these guys. Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves. Now, we're masters. Imagine what we can become in just a few more years. All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace. We keep the balance. And we keep moving forward. We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. All the people who think they run things. Who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. <laughs> Welcome to Meksha. 
Did you enjoy the speech? I can see how you were able to inspire the rebellion against the Huts. Well, the Huts did most of the work for me, if I'm honest. Someone just had to fire the first shot. Now then, please, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes? Narlok gave me his word. Servants of the Republic often espouse high ideals. Even as their deeds tell a very different story. No need to be rude. Commander, this is Darth Shar. Dark Counselor in charge of production, logistics, and civil order. How do you do? What brings you to Mech Shah, exactly? Oh, a few minor import-export violations that I wish to resolve. Nothing terribly interesting. I'm sure refueling your warships will be much more exciting. I'm sure the two of you have a lot you could talk about, but we do have a previous appointment. Enjoy the auction, Commander. I do hope we get to meet again soon. Do you lead the brothers? We are a brotherhood, united in noble purpose. We have no leader. Our path is obvious. We take beings without value and give them value. We give labor to those who suffer without purpose. Our works enable greater works. Our labors create laborers. Useless beings are made useful again. The galaxy is made better. Before I leave Mech Shah, I'm making sure your entire operation is torn apart. You will not. None can sway us from our righteous path. Your words waste breath that could be used productively. This entire event is a waste. We will witness no more of it. What do you want? To the point. Let me return the favor. I'm looking for some help. Interested? You think Darmanda want to fight and die in your little war? You're out of your mind. We're doing just fine on Mech I'm here to get your help with our operations on Mech No fighting needed. Interesting. Depending on the details. Look, this isn't a good place to do business. Too many years. Maybe they can't handle that, and we'll see. Chonky Faguta de Opora Geoto Kakise. De Mote Kikasa, do Bonilis de Oto. Chai con Kunta Chichai. Depends on how well you treat your friends. Makipuna Mali Tuta or Mishka. Conchita Chichakta. The Kusa Malachikuta, Ikosa Mose Alachuta. Kobane Puta, Taise Cheskusku. I'm curious. What's your stance on fueling the Republic's ships? Kasuyali koyarang kinka kurum. Klis kataka yos bosko ukopokuta. Makipuna mali tuta or mishka. Kusum malachikuta ikosamose alachuta. The sooner the better. Mampaula kavaji oto. I'm sure we can figure something out. Tungi machechu! Kastu undile! Jigo hola lukuta! Tungi machechu! Kutsi nanki he! Wanna wa de bloto wichawa! Had enough fun for one night? I'm finished here. We heard about the assassin earlier. Glad you're still in one piece. They should have known one Sith wouldn't cut it with you. Honestly, not convinced they were an assassin at all. Strange. But I guess we have no choice but to keep moving forward. On the bright side, the docks aren't the defensive nightmare I was afraid they'd be. Plenty of good choke points, blind corners, and elevated positions. Hutbreaker doesn't want an invasion, so Narlock's only allowed to bring a limited deployment. He's rounding up his best troops now. 
Got a lot of practice working on droids on Osis, so I'll help Junker modify his service droids to help us fight. In the meantime, I sent Arn to stake out the Brothers' territory and watch for Imperial activity. If they send anyone after us, we'll know. How is Arn handling his lessons? He's a quick study. Much better than he thinks he is. Honestly, once he learns to believe in himself, he'll be fine. And what about you? How do you feel about being his teacher? It's not as bad as I was afraid it'd be. I think the old man just gave me an easy one to start off with. But I have to admit, he was right. Teaching someone else really helps solidify the basics for yourself, you know? Helps you focus on what's important. We best get moving. Let us know how it goes with the crew leaders, huh? If you need anything, just say the word and we'll be there. You don't waste time. Who do you support? What exactly do you need? You want to do business with the huts? I didn't know the exchange was on Maksha. I'll bring the envoy back. Safe and sound. Kuchuso, you mata chico toya. Cha aita ye chopa. Mituana shoto. Kappa me chispa. You weren't invited to this meeting, Commander. I gather your meeting with Veek is cancelled then. I must say, I am surprised Veek chose his reputation over saving a potential deal with the Huts. So this was just a way to get back at Veek. In truth, both of our organizations lose millions of credits to Harido Wald every month. It's getting expensive. Once Veek and his ilk are out of the way, we'll divvy up his roots and cruise between ourselves. Dad, it was an ambush. She was working with the exchange all along. 
Bampaula Kavajioto. The Huts and the Exchange made a deal to kill you and split your resources between themselves. They didn't count on anyone else getting involved. Kasuyali Koyaran Penka Kurun. Upokon Bak, Nijitonka Giliski Chanaka. Umpa Bitwala Bitwala Nibobo. It seems that will take some time. Dimuti Kikasa, Dubuni Liz Diwoto. Kusa Malachikuta, Ikosa Mose Alachuta. Umpa Bitwala Bitwala Nibobo. Bamba, Unaguta, Tanquekuta? I have other priorities right now. Pata di tok makichisa, chubala wawuni. Be the perupa, kadua shi niko iga danaila. Tukusa malachikuta, ikosa mose alachuta. No ye nevuta, nakma. Yes, that should be all. Ini good da iji liska chananga wa. Gigi haku. Arn, is that you? Listen, I need your help. There are slaves, dozens of them. The brothers are loading them into shuttles, imperial shuttles. We have to stop them. Tao is your master, Arn. You should be talking with her about this, not me. She told me not to interfere, but I can't just sit back and watch this happen. Tao, do you read me? Arn is attacking the brothers. They're about to ship out slaves for the Empire. Blast it! I'll meet you there! Arn, you slavers! Monsters! The worst scum in the galaxy! But I, I don't want to kill them. I didn't want to kill any of them. I just... I had to. They didn't give me any other choice, did they? There was no other way to get to the slaves and free them before it was too late. What else could I do? Was there some other way? Please, I have to know. You have to tell me. I wasn't here, Horn. You were. You made the call, and you saved those people. But that's the problem. I made the call. No one else, just me. Thou doesn't know, but... When I was injured, the people we were fighting, they were slavers too. Back then, I, I couldn't stop them. Years of recovery and pain. Maybe I didn't want there to be another way. Maybe... Maybe I saw my chance to get payback, and I took it. I don't think that's who I am. I don't want that to be who I am. But part of me is glad they're dead. We all feel that pull from the dark side sometimes. It's part of the Force. Part of all of us. But it doesn't control you unless you let it. You're right. Thank you. I... Thank you. Arn! Are you alright? I'm sorry, Master. I'm, I'm sorry for all of this. I saw those people being rounded up and I, I couldn't... I, I didn't know what else to do. Come on. The imps might send reinforcements. Let's get back to Junker's place and you can tell me everything. just hit the brothers, you practically wiped them out! We're supposed to be keeping the peace! Arn was there on my orders. If you or Hutbreaker have a problem with what he did, take it up with me. You think I care that those creeps are gone? I'd give you a medal if I could. It's Hutbreaker who wants our hides over it. Is she still willing to sell us the fuel? Yes, for an extra 40%. Then let's stick to the mission. We don't need to give Arn any more grief than he's already giving himself. How is Arn? He's still struggling, but I've been there. I'll help him through. He'll hold his post when the time comes. The vote went in our favor, so I've got the fleet organized and ready to start refueling. Safe bet the imps will show up as soon as we start, so we'd better get ourselves into position right away. I'll meet you all here at the docks. Hey, I wanted to thank you for letting me know when Arn called you. I'm glad I had the chance to help him. Of course. You're his master. He needed your guidance. Still feels weird to think of it that way, but I appreciate you trusting me to do it.
My best troops. Wish I could bring more, but we're on thin ice with Hutbreaker as it is. There are three main approaches the Imps could use for their assault. The main catwalks, the maintenance tunnels, or the docks themselves via shuttle. The main catwalk is the most direct route, so we'll have our strongest defense there. Commander, that's you. All right. What about the other routes? Arn and I would be best for the tunnels. In close quarters like that, they'll never make it past our lightsabers. My droids know those tunnels better than anyone. I'll send them to back you up. My troops will cover the docks as best they can. But our anti-aircraft weapons are limited. Once our ships start refueling, weapons and docking bays are disabled. Thank you, V. We really appreciate it. No ye ne vuta nakma. Koba ne puta taise jeskusku. Sounds like we're ready. May the force be with us all. We can do this. We must do this. For the Republic. Ready, Arn? Ready. Keeping us busy down here. We can handle it. All right, let's handle it. Control center. How in blazes did they get in there? Blast it! They're going for the failsafe. They're gonna try to neutralize all the fuel. I'll meet you there, Commander. Hurry! It's over. Drop your weapon. It's been a long day, my friend. I'm doing what I came here to do. Don't make me kill you first. I've never seen better timing in my life. You? You're the Alliance Commander. Guess we're done then. If you can kill the Sith Emperor, I don't really like my odds. <laughs> Mission now. Banter later. Narlok is here. They were trying to activate the failsafe, but we stopped them in time. them on the run down here. That's right, clear. Outstanding work, everyone. Let's regroup outside. We did it! We actually did it! Combined with the fleet from Onderon, our odds of victory are climbing. Vice Admiral Nala, I look forward to seeing you at the rendezvous. Please set out as soon as possible. Of course, General. Thank you all. You saved my ships. And you may have saved the whole of the Republic. It was a pleasure working with you, Narlok. Likewise, Commander. I hope we can meet again when the battle for Corellia is won. Thanks to your heroism, the Republic will have enough ships to challenge Malgus's armada when they arrive at Corellia. But numbers are no guarantee of victory. And our foe is known for his cunning. You have my coordinates. Meet me right away. The battle is about to begin. Well, it's been a bucket of fun, but these old bones need a good three or four day nap. Stay spry, kids. Junkers out. Thank Hutbreaker and the others for us. Yeah, yeah. No sign of Shar anywhere on Mechshaw. She might have died on one of the shuttles that Nylock's troop shot down. Or she bailed as soon as the fight didn't go her way. That would definitely fit her profile. What do you think about this prisoner, Henry? Will we get anything useful out of her? She seemed to be a key part of the Empire's plans. 
She might know a lot. Every little bit helps, especially with what we're up against. I guess we'll see you at the rendezvous. This will be my first time back on Corellia since the last time. Can't believe it's been so long. I never expected to be fighting the Empire on Corellia again. I hoped we were past all that. Maybe if we win, it'll stick this time. See you there, Commander. Leaving already? No time to stop for a few drinks. What? Ser seriously? No. Come on. You really do have a way with people. We received coordinates for your strategy meeting with General Derun. They included rather explicit instructions that only you should attend. I can't imagine why they wouldn't be comfortable sharing their battle plans with some of your friends. It's an important battle. That's probably why they're more cautious than usual. I'm sure it's nothing personal. Oh yes, I'm sure. The shuttle is ready when you are. Commander, welcome. Let's get started right away. Of course. I'm sure time isn't on our side. It so rarely is. Galena Rance, I'm the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic. But don't hold that against me. It's an honor to meet you, Chancellor. Honor's all mine. Hadn't gotten to come to a briefing like this since my time in the 439th Bomber Wing. This is Fleet Admiral Newman. He'll be commanding the naval aspects of Corellia's defense. A challenge, to be sure. But thanks to the reinforcements we've received, one that we can overcome. All right, then. How do we defend Corellia? How do we save the Meridian Complex shipyard? The captured Dark Counselor, Darth Savick, revealed much about the enemy fleet's capabilities. But she didn't know their attack plan. I've positioned our ships for maximum flexibility. Rapid reaction is our best hope. How can the Alliance fleet help with the battle? I'd like to keep them hidden on the far side of the planet Talus. Once we've seen the Empire's strategy, they can hyper-jump in wherever they'll be most effective. Savik has also revealed that the Imperial Armada will include a group of dreadnoughts equipped with Isotope 5 generators, and another with silencer superweapons. Meaning? The Isotope 5 ships will be much faster than standard, with far stronger shields. The silencers can destroy capital ships in a single shot. What do we have that can go up against weapons like those? We had hoped Admiral Revald's null cannons would be available in time. But the prototypes are still too unstable to deploy. All right, that's everything in orbit. How about planet side? Anti-aircraft turrets and defensive shielding are already in place. So long as they remain operational, the facility will be safe from aerial attack. And our ground forces? We've deployed as many soldiers as possible to the Meridian complex. But it was built as a shipyard, not a fortress. We can only station so many troops in the facility before we end up leaving them exposed. So. The rest are positioned as close by as possible. I've gathered as many Jedi as I could to join the defense, including volunteers from Corellia's Green Jedi. But there are still too few to repel a significant Sith contingent. Commander, we'd like you and your Alliance forces to join the ground defense group and help tip the odds in our favor. Do we know anything about the Empire's ground forces? Will Malgus be leading them? That's a safe bet, but we know little else. Unfortunately. Savik wasn't involved in that aspect of the plan either. Sounds like everyone knows their job. The Republic's counting on you, friends. If we're gonna put up a decent fight going forward, we need that shipyard. Make us all proud. Safe travels. Moving out. We'll make our way to Corellia in my personal ship. There should be just enough time to cook up a nice Rishkate and a pot of Gatalentan before we arrive. Tao informed me of Arn's difficulties on Miksha. I want to thank you for keeping her involved as you did. Arn acted rashly, but thanks to you, Master and Student have been brought closer together as a result. Recognizing when help is needed can be very important, but recognizing who should be giving that help, that can be even more important. Tao is doing well with Arn. They're both great Jedi. I'm glad we agree. Now then, enough talk. We have a battle to win, don't we? Not to mention, I was in a Bacta tank the last time Daerun brewed this tea of his. I want to see what all the fuss is about. But you must admit, it's hardly the Sith approach. 
I've grown far stronger working beside him than I ever could have become through treachery. Intriguing. I suppose the Sith Code never specifically calls for the usurpation of the Master by the Apprentice. Merely the pursuit of greater power. Precisely. It's only natural that the strongest should lead, but the goal should be strength, not necessarily leadership. If one is truly strong, leadership comes inevitably. A unique point of view among the Sith. Perhaps that's why we aren't among the Sith now. Is everyone ready to land at the shipyard? We are indeed. Shuttles are prepped and gear is stowed. Exiting hyperspace in the Corellia system, now. Groups 4 and 5, position Org 9. 6, 7 and 8, stagger column behind them. Varun here, report. The enemy arrived ahead of schedule. They're split into three groups we've designated Hound, Raptor, and Swarm. Energy signatures tell us Hound group contains the isotope 5 dreadnoughts. They're approaching our lines head on at maximum speed. Following behind, Raptor Group, vertical halo formation to maximize field of fire. The silencers, covering Hound Group's approach. Swarm Group contains the bulk of the attacking fleet. They dropped out of hyperspace on the far side of the planet, well out of weapons range. Objective unknown. Understood. How can we help? Approach in the vector we're sending now to avoid Raptor Group's targeting range. Then make for the surface. Admiral, it's Swarm Group. The vessel open fire. Open fire on what? We're out of range. They aren't firing on us. They're firing on the surface, the cities, residential, manufacturing. It's totally indiscriminate. We have to stop them. Thousands, even millions could die. Redeploying any of our ships will weaken our defensive blockade significantly. There is the Alliance fleet, but we need them to trap the silencers. Forget the plan. Those people need us. Admiral Ego, get to the far side of Corellia. Stop the Imperials any way you can. Copy that. Moving out. Reading multiple new targets. They must have been hidden by Hound's energy signatures. They're going to beat us to the surface. All shuttles, prepare for launch! A wave of Imperial dropships beat us to the surface. We're in for a fight! Finally, solid ground. Nice flying. Arn, are you ready? Ready, Master. We'll follow your lead. Time to kick the Empire off Corellia for good. All teams report in. Everyone make it groundside? Our team is all right. We passed the outer defenses. All clear in our sector. We're heading for a tram pylon nearby. Jorgen wants to set up a sniper perch. Good here, too. Taking a more subtle approach. If I say it over the comm, it would kind of defeat the purpose. It's just business as usual here. <laughs> That's, uh, good to hear. Stay in contact. Out. The Imperials, this battle, seeing it all in person, it's... It's a lot to take in. Don't let the chaos break your focus. The Force will guide you through it all. Focus. Focus. Thanks. Reinforcements. We're going to hold this position and try to head them off. Do you need help? We'll back her up. You keep moving. Quite a team you've got. Should we help them? We've handled a lot of crazy situations over the years. They'll be fine. Enemy units encountered in Sector 8. Requesting backup at my location. So 
five dreadnought is regrouped with the rest of the imps. Can anyone assist? Leave them to us. Mandorade, prepare for boarding. Control center requesting immediate backup. Repeat, Malgus has ah! all clear. Looks that way. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you, Commander Tau Arn. We're all right, old man. And this is Theron Sedrax, foremost authority on exotechnology and principal systems engineer of this once fine facility. Where's Darth Malgus? Sidetracked. Stalled. Diverted. When I calculated that our physical security was insufficient, I rerouted all facility defense systems to a secondary control station near the top of the spire. That was some quick thinking. Well done. The Sith Lord, Malgus, he and the last of his troops set off up the elevators toward the secondary controls. You're not too late to stop them. If you read me, you better hunker down. Some of the reinforcements got past us, and they are not in a great mood. We can hold this level with our troops. You three, go on. Malgus must be stopped. Come with us. We can fight him together. No. Seeing me alive will only fuel his rage even further. This is your fight, all three of you. Fight as one, and you can defeat him. May the Force be with you. I hoped it would be you. I've been looking forward to this. And Tower Dare, didn't you bring that old fool with you? I'm told he survived our last encounter. Not even you can win this one. Drop your weapon. It's over. Is it? Alert. Shield power decreasing. Shield system failure imminent. Shall we die together? You think we'd give up so easily? I think I will kill you easily. wasn't just a story. If anyone could destroy him, it was you. No matter. I will not fail. Your shipyard will crumble. Your republic will burn. Detected evacuation protocols in effect. Shield power restored. Structural support units deployed. Fire suppression systems activated. 
External defensive systems restored. Targeting hostiles. Now! All forces, our assault has failed. The shields cannot be penetrated. Regroup at RV point fresh. Now! All ships, regroup at the Meridian Complex. Secure any remaining enemy forces on the surface and prepare search and rescue teams for deployment. We've won the impossible battle, but the day isn't over until we've gotten everyone home safely. Get to it. Conquering hero, you saved the day again. Well done. It wasn't easy, but we pulled it off. We're getting a mountain of good intel out of the captured soldiers and ship crews, not to mention data from the wreckage. Exciting times, but I won't keep you. Just wanted to pass on my congratulations. See you around. Well, if it isn't one of my new favorite people. Tau and Arn both escaped with only minor injuries. They'll be along shortly. All Corellia forces are still on alert, but it would seem Malgus has escaped us once again. One miss in a day full of hits. We'll get him eventually. The production lines are firing back up in a matter of days. We'll get new ships to our frontline units in no time. The Empire committed a lot to this attack. They're gonna be hurting for a while. And we'll be ready to press the advantage. Malgus almost had us with this attack. What are we doing to track him down? If any ships had exited the system toward Imperial space, we'd know about it. Hmm. Perplexing, to say the least. So what am I supposed to do with you? The hero of the Republic who's... not in the Republic. At least not for some years now. I believe there's a simple solution, Chancellor. I agree. Consider this your formal invitation, Commander. Come back to us. Join the Republic. And bring all your friends and your planet with you. All of my people? You know that some of them were part of the Sith Empire. I do. And if you were willing to give them a chance, then so am I. Odessan becomes a member world of the Republic, with a senator and everything. Every one of your people, even the ones with criminal charges or intelligence files with frowny faces on them, they all get clean records and citizenship if they want it. What's more, you'll be heading a new initiative we're cooking up. One I think you'll like. General? Task Force Nova. A joint military and civilian effort to help the Jedi rebuild their order. My research suggests that there are still countless Jedi scattered across the galaxy. We will find them, and we will build them a new home. To help the Jedi rebuild all that we've lost, I'd be honored. Thank you. This will be a difficult undertaking. Your help will be invaluable. Rebuilding the Jedi means rebuilding the Jedi High Council. I can think of no one I would rather welcome as this new Council's first member. After all, in times like these, the role of Battlemaster becomes more important than ever. I'll be your liaison with the Republic military. We'll provide security, reconnaissance, and intelligence support. That's quite an offer. Of course, if you'd rather keep the Alliance as it is, that's fine too. You'll still be our top ally, and we'll still want your help with the task force. But the rest, the titles, the areas of responsibility, that's all a package deal for signing up. So. Back to the Republic and the Jedi, or stick with the Alliance as is. I've been away from the Republic and the Jedi for too long. Count me in. Welcome to the Galactic Republic. Now then, this is going to take quite a bit of paperwork. Until next time. Master.
I'm told I may need to invest in some brighter clothing. It'll take some time to redecorate a Odessa to coincide with our new allegiance, but I'll have the process started as soon as possible. Fitting in with the Republic, with the Jedi, should be interesting. Nost Doral, at least, seems open-minded enough. Told you he was all right. Even so, I think I'll keep my more proactive methods to myself from this point on. Shall we stop by the cantina? I understand one of the generals is offering free drinks for anyone with an impressive Corellia story. After the action we saw, we'll bankrupt the poor guy. Well, if he wasn't ready for the risks, he shouldn't have started the tab. Hey, need a minute of your time. By all means. Well, if it isn't the improvised free-climbing champion of Corellia. When he smashed the platform, I thought it was all over. I can't believe you managed to get back up there and fix the shields. You're everything they say you are. And so was Malgus. We were lucky to survive it all. That wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been there. Thanks. The three of us are pretty hard to stop. We should work together more. Count me in. Before we go, there's something else we need to talk about. When Arn and I were buried in all of that wreckage, we didn't dig ourselves out. We had help. From who? Someone who loves you. Kara. It's been so long. We meet again, at last. Wait. You're the one who attacked me on Mech Shah. You've been following me. Watching me. Why? A necessary test. And you passed. What are you talking about? The Emperor. Tenebrae. Vitiate. Valkorion. Whatever his name. He was a part of you. We all felt his destruction, but he has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. I'm so glad to see you both. After all these years, I'd feared the worst. We'll never be apart like that again. Never. We have so much to tell you. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessan. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. It's still hard to believe that you're both back after all this time. To be fair, we weren't the ones who disappeared in the first place. True. We weren't the ones who charged away aboard an exploding ship. All of those years without you. It wasn't easy. I was a nervous wreck wondering what had really happened to you. I guess what I'm saying is, never worry me like that again, okay? I've waited a long time for you to come back to me, Kara. We have a lot of catching up to do, don't we? Why don't you tell me what's been going on? As I told you on Carrick Station, Tenebrae's last gruesome weapon. He sought immortality, but only his endless spite survives now. In your absence, I received guidance from an old ally. The path to our enemy's ultimate death was unfolding, and we had a crucial part to play. Tenebrae hid his original body where no one could harm it. As long as that body remained in stasis, the galaxy's greatest evil could never truly be killed. Unless we destroyed Tenebrae, the fight against Valkorion would never really be over. Since Valkorion is gone, I assume you succeeded. We did. As we later learned, we destroyed his first body just as you purged the last vestige of his twisted spirit from your mind. That is when his final weapon was unleashed. A Sith ritual, carved into his very flesh, unleashed an ancient plague from every molecule of his decaying corpse. We were both knocked out cold, comatose for more than a year. Satil Shan was the one who finally pulled us out of that nightmare. 
and started a new one. Since we had both been vessels for Tenebrae's power in the past, we were both protected to a large degree. Like a vaccine. But Satil had no such protection. Nor did any of her followers. Within days, they were all laid low, trapped in a nightmarish slumber. In helping us, they are knowingly doomed themselves. That's terrible. I'll do anything I can to help you save them. I knew you would, but there's more. The infection is worsening. There is a darkness growing among the afflicted. We can feel their minds connecting, communicating. We're afraid they might be merging somehow. Merging into what? Another Valkorian? Is this plague bringing him back somehow? It's too early to make that conclusion. Whatever it is, it is immensely dangerous. We must stop it. How? We loaded Satil and all of her followers onto a transport to keep them quarantined, along with a few medroids to tend to them. The transport is programmed to fly a random course through unsettled sectors of the Outer Rim, all weeks away from civilization. I can send a signal to alter the course, bring it to another empty system that's closer so that we can meet it in a shuttle. We board the ship and connect our minds with yours through the Force. Together, we will face this entity and purge it from existence. And if we cannot purge it, then we destroy the transport and hope we've ended the old monster's schemes forever. Send the signal. If what you say is true, this thing could be getting stronger by the minute. I'll send the signal right away. It'll be a while before the ship comes back into range. Scourge, did you...? Yes. There is a private matter we should discuss. The sooner the better. What you've built here is no small feat. You've done well for yourself. Destroying the Emperor, claiming his throne. You have accomplished even more than I'd hoped for. I couldn't have done it without you. Even if I didn't know it all this time. I swore I would help you defeat him, and I don't make promises lightly. There is something else I wish to speak with you about. The Emperor's destruction had a profound effect on me. Something beyond the disease his death unleashed. My immortality is... gone. For 300 years, I thought I would be content to accept my end. Should the time come. But my new mortality has... unforeseen effects. Like what exactly? Emotions and sensations I'd long forgotten have taken hold again. I am compelled to fight for something I believe in. And... I have realized how important to me our old crew had become. Especially you, Jedi. I feel the need to remain by your side, and I don't know what to make of it. But I would do anything to keep you safe. Do you understand? The most important part of life is the bonds we form. You finally feel that. It will take some getting used to, but I'm already beginning to like it. I cannot predict what the future holds, but I will be here to help you face it. Nice digs. Sure beats where Scourge and I stayed for the last few years. You know, I wasn't exaggerating earlier. I really would have torn through the galaxy to get you back. Even stole a ship to rescue you. Till Scourge talked me down. But for a Sith, he's kind of a wet blanket. Point is, nothing felt right without you. Life just lost its color, you know? I'm sorry I put you through that. No, no, I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I'm trying to tell you how much I love you. Every night I went to sleep missing you. And then I woke up missing you. Even after all these years, it's... It's never gotten any easier. But now you're finally here, right in front of me, and... 
I'm trying to be a good Jedi and control my emotions, and it is killing me. Do you know how badly I want to kiss you? Pretty bad. Pretty I love you, Kira. And I'm not holding back anymore. The Force will understand. Thank the stars. Feels like the future is finally starting. And we're in it together. Till the end. <laughs>